hello and welcome so in today's video we are going to be doing lab 43 that is creating a domain user if you want to follow along on your server here are the instructions and rest of them here so again uh, I have done it it's gonna be a quick video I know uh, part of it we already did we created the OU we're gonna now this time just right click and new user pretty simple so the instruction says server map tools active directory same thing start menu server manager so one thing that I said in the previous video uh, that was a little bit not right there's there is you uh, actually that was correct I didn't mention this but basically you don't log into your server you have RSAT I have a video on that as well so RSAT is remote server administration task or something uh, it's a tool that you can gives you basically exactly same uh, but on your Windows machine so it's not like everybody will be logging into the actual server they will be managing it through that software uh, so let's go here user and computers make it bigger what I did say in that video was that most of the time you will be working here in this like your user and computer and that is true so I, I if memory serves me correct there was like just a standalone of users and computer so you have access to just this uh, in my previous role uh, right now I'm in AWS but in Amazon I had access to where we were uh, not working with users uh, per se like yes we were uh, unlocking or uh, doing the password reset and all that but mainly we did that for uh, BitLocker so BitLocker is managed through here as well all right so left panel same that is the forest or whatever uh, the main and in this we can go to compute this one can and then we can create a user in this OU that is the computers this one right here again we can either right click here or right click on the left panel and here from new wherever you want to go I create a user here but I want to show you uh, from here it's same thing new and users so now you're gonna name it the name should be this for the reason that they will be evaluating it so I want to keep it same all right so both passwords fields so uh, I don't see the password field user logon name user logon name in, in the next screen I don't have a next screen user logon name L O U I S E and now I have a next and in the password field it's gonna be capital P at SSW zero RD are we changing anything we are password never expires and must log we make it so basically this one you let the user choose you select this click provide them the username password as soon as the login system won't let them proceed any further it will force them to change the password and that's how uh, the CIA uh, tri triad works that the user and only user knows his passwords in this case I know the password and I am never expiring means that even if I give him the password unless he on his own changes the password or she 
then I would not know but right now I know so these password this option normally we uh, create for a software that needs some kind of permissions to run uh, some service or for auditing like for auditing we create uh, these accounts that are for strictly for that auditing software or auditor purpose I'm gonna click finish and I guess we're done all right so let's submit and evaluate hopefully I've done everything right I did I'm gonna record my answer I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one